Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Wang. Here is the question. Find the six digit number n equals ab, ab, ab. If n equals five times the product of three consecutive odd numbers, this is the given condition. Here, n, we have ab, 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 repeating three times. We want to rewrite n into three pieces, the sum of three pieces. So here, because you can see the pattern, a, B, A, B, A, B. We can see the first A, B. A, B, zero, 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 zero. It is equivalent to A, B times 10,000. Now middle A, B. A, B, zero, zero equals A, B times 100. The last A, B as A, B times what? So here, N equals AB, AB, AB equals the sum of those three pieces. The left-hand side, we can sum of the right-hand side. So each of those three have AB, we can factor AB out. You can see that's AB. Then we have 10,000 plus 100 plus one. 10,000, 101. So we are here now. What's next? Factor this. You can see 10,101 equals seven times 37 times 39. You may ask, why are you doing this? We are using the given information. Three consecutive odd numbers. Although 39, we still can continue to factor it as a three times 13, but we don't need it. So here you can see 37, 39 are two consecutive odd numbers. So we need three. So we have two here, 37, 39. What are those possible odd numbers? We join those three consecutive odd numbers. One should be before 37, which is 35. Another possibility, the number is after 39, also odd number, join the three consecutive odd numbers, should be 41. Only two numbers we need to consider. So here, that means this part of the first part can be five times 35. 35 here, we join 37, 39 to be the three consecutive odd number group. Five means what? That's N equals five times the product. So we need five here. So this part should have a five times 35. Or the first part equals five times 41. This one, 41 here after 37, 39 and 41 to form a three consecutive number group. Only two situations we need to consider. Consider first situation. If AB times seven equals five times 35. So here, we can continue to factor 35 as five times seven. So here we can find AB. AB equals 25. This is one solution. What is the question? We want to find N. N equals what? AB, AB, AB. If we know AB is 25, we know that's two, five, two, five, two, five. That's one answer. Now consider the second situation. A, B times seven equals five times 41. In order to solve this equation for A, B, 
So we can both sides divide by seven. Now look at five cannot be divided by seven and 47, we don't have a factor for 47, which is seven. So 47 is not divisible by seven. So we imply this kind of situation is impossible. Impossible, that means we don't have a solution from this information to find AB. So the only answer we find so far is AB equals 25. So this is the answer. N equals two, five, two, five, two, five. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.